A shot of the Kingston Yard here. We got a Sperry car. So, just want to thank everybody for watching my videos and appreciating what I do. I'm all new to this. I'm not really a train guy. I like trains, but I'm not really a train guy. I'm not really a boat guy. Um, I started this during the pandemic, taking my grandson down to the train, train tracks when we were in quarantine. And uh, they live near an active line. And uh, just kind of got the idea to start posting some of the videos that I was taking because we were just using them for, uh, we were using the videos to uh, relax the kids. We put them on a TV and let the kids watch the videos. And I just started, decided to start posting them. So uh, that's how this all started. And uh, I'm just using a uh, Samsung S10. And uh, got a monopod. And uh, I do put a lot of miles on doing this. The farthest I've been so far is West Springfield, Holyoke, um, down here to Kingston, Sopus, Voorheesville. Um, these are all, uh, other than the Springfield, Holyoke area, um, those are in Massachusetts, all the other ones are in New York, up and down the Hudson River. Uh, fortunate to live near active rail lines, and, uh, <clears throat> Selkirk has a huge yard. If you go online and look at the map, you can see that's a huge huge yard um, the uh, this Kingston yard runs a lot of traffic on this line right here this is the bypass of the yard and that's where you see all that traffic that I post um, runs right on this rail right here that is the siding and uh, there's that siding, uh, so it's a it's a it's a one line uh, rail that handles north and southbound traffic, and then they head in here, duck in here to uh, depending on the size of the depending on the size of the train, to who to yield to, who's going north, who's going south. But I've noticed that a lot of these uh if they're real long trains they get the priority and a lot of them they uh i notice they group like every 20 minutes there'll be a group of trains just going north and then uh i'll notice it'll be a group of trains going south so they uh, appears that they group in that way like i said i really don't know a lot of the trains i don't know what what trains are what the engines are i see a lot of you guys posts and uh, guys and gals post what the trains are, what the engines are, and so forth. I mean, I can tell, um, you know, I can tell, um, you know, a box car from a hopper car, a covered hopper car. I can tell a trash, trash compacted uh, car just by the smell, because when they go by, they stink, uh, especially in the summer. Um, so, uh... And that one uh, that I posted, um, train doesn't stop at the border. That gets a lot of comments of why doesn't the train stop at the border? Look at a lot of my videos. I post um, I post titles to catch the eye, and uh, don't take a lot of my titles too seriously. But in that train, you'll notice a few of those cars say uh, Oak Ridge. So those Oak Ridge, uh, there is a uh, depot in Danbury, Connecticut that has its own siding and they load trash into those Oak Ridge and it, the, the depot is a trash depot company and it's called Oak Ridge. So they, obviously they own their own cars. And where that goes, I don't know. I know there's an Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That's about all I know about it. 
So like I said, I don't uh, profess to be any type of professional train person, ship person. The ships I can go online, I have an app that tells me what's going up and down the Hudson River. I can see where they're out in the anchorage off the uh, Ambrose Anchorage off of uh, Long Island. Um, and I can tell which ships are coming up the Hudson River, how far they're going. Uh, it tells me what barges, uh, what tugs. Uh, it's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty interesting site. Um, so, and then I can go on those, uh, go on that site, and it'll tell me there goes a Sperry truck. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sperry is a. Um, they do the Sperry cars. They do track alignments. Okay, here comes the train. Let's see where it's going to go. So these Sperry cars, they do track alignments and so forth. Um, keep the train uh, the width. To lift up the, I'll actually lift up the rails. Put bunker underneath them if there's a low spot. They have grinding. Uh, grinding wheels on the on some of these ferry cars to grind the grind the rail down smooth it out okay that train is going into the yard boom there it goes behind those so maybe there's something coming north so this that train that, that you just saw the light there and that's heading south this uh this view is looking north Okay, so he came in and he is, let's see what he's going to do here before I speculate anymore. So anyway, these Sperry cars, um, they, uh, they are technical pieces of equipment. And uh, a lot of them run off of satellites and... Um, Make the rails, make the trains run better. Make the rails, make the rails better so the trains run better. And so this is looking south. So south would be New York City. South would be, let's see, on this side of the river, this would go into New Jersey, actually. Not New York City. This would go into New Jersey. Pennsylvania probably picks up a lot of stuff from Pennsylvania. Uh, let's keep an eye on what this guy's doing down here. And for April 1st, 2021, it is cold. It has been snowing all day here in uh, the Hudson Valley. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has uh, teased us a little bit with some warm weather. So anyway, yeah, um, don't take me too seriously. I just uh, flip them up there. I know some people get annoyed because I, I put music to some of the uh, videos. Um... I don't know what to tell you. Some people like the music, some people don't. So, uh, just bear with me and uh, we'll try to keep it real, that's all. Trying to make everybody happy. I don't have my binoculars with me today, so I can't see what this guy's doing down there. It is about 33 degrees right now.
nothing like the whiff of fresh creosote. There is a stack of fresh rails right there. Or excuse me, ties right there. And they stink. It's not my favorite smell. Although it does bring me back to my boardwalk days. For those of you who remember those days. In the 60s when they rebuilt all the boardwalks along the New York City shoreline and Long Island, Jersey Shore. Nowadays everything's made out of pressure treated wood because uh, creosote is a carcinogen so they don't use it anymore except the, uh, the rails. So this engine is slowly creeping up. Sorry about that, my monopod keeps dropping down in between the gravel and shaking.
2021. Got a mask wrapped around a tie, uh, tie spike. It's gonna be everywhere for decades, sadly. I'm going to pause this here. We'll come back to it. So if anybody knows of a, uh, a good train app that uh, covers CSX, it uh, be very helpful. I haven't found anything good. I do use uh, Amtrak because I just go off their train schedule. It's pretty easy to figure out. But... Um, if anybody's got a good train app they'd like to share with me, that'd be great. So uh, I'm going to end this here. And again, I'd like to say thank you to everybody and uh, appreciate the support. I appreciate the cr criticism. And I also crit uh, appreciate the um, the uh, attaboys as well. So uh, enjoy. And uh, this is Easter weekend, so I want to wish all those who celebrate Easter, Happy Easter. And for those who don't, happy Passover and whatever you celebrate, celebrate with your family because uh, coming out of this disaster we just had for the last 18 months or so, huh, at my age, 62 years old, be grateful. Take care. I'm going to be posting some new, uh, just a side note, I am going to be posting uh, a few more videos this weekend, so uh, stay tuned.